and take some nice cooling deep breaths in and exhale and close your eyes just start feeling your space putting your arms up getting to know your space i realize there's a thing here that's gonna i'm, I'm gonna have to adapt to that being there which is totally okay it's just the edge of the desk i just don't want to hit it hard all right i'm just gonna start moving my arms around slowly up and down hope everyone's doing well Merlin, my dog, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. It's been rough though, been a little rough, but he's good. He says hello, flamey too. Yeah. yeah, just gonna shake our hands out, back and forth, up and down. Look, we're painting really fast. Shake them out, circles leading with our thumb, playing some piano. Deep breath in and exhale. And out to the side. And back into the center. Just keeping our arms straight, elbows straight on out. You have any um, any things that are going to require us to adapt, right? Like I notice over here, I have to adapt how I, how I hold myself. Just figure that out. Now's a good time to do that. We're going to play an upside down piano. Imagine that, right? So our fingers are upside down. A little different than this. This is anti-gravity piano. Now we just get our thumbs going. Some little kitten biscuits we're grabbing. Grab, turn, grab, turn. Very good. All right. And press our palms out and come back to the center. And our hands are on our knees. Legs are straight, chin is up, head is up. Inhale and exhale. So I hope you guys have been doing okay. Um, not sure what recordings uh, were played, but uh, hopefully uh, you won the boxing, uh, the boxing match uh, that you had. If there was a fight in there, that would, that's excellent if you did. We'll do some of that today uh, again, so we can still be the champs. But let's um, move our neck back and forth. Rock a little bit side to side. Just be very gentle when we do this. We're not doing this fast. We're not at a, at a rock and roll concert banging our heads, right? Back, pull the chin, tuck the chin. Just back and forth and side to side. Nice and slow. Or mean and slow, depending on how you want to do it, but I prefer to be gentle. Oh, you forgot about the bad jokes and puns. Yeah, no apologies. Yeah. Fall is in the air. Almost Halloween get into the holidays, all that stuff. So we want to make sure that we stay with the practice as best we can. It's during the holidays that come up that we sometimes get out of practice. So we want to stay in that, in that mode. Deep breath in and exhale. Just back and forth with the neck. Start moving our shoulders. So I'm going to have my, my head to my right side, moving my left shoulder and head over to the left side, moving my right shoulder. It's back and forth, up and down. Depending on your shoulder, you might hear some knocking when you do it, it's okay. Great. And just dip. 
Remember to breathe, nice deep breath in, head goes back, head comes back to the center. I keep my eyes closed when I do a lot of this, um, just so I can feel. I know it's weird that it's like, oh, you can't feel with your eyes open. Well, I can, but I have other distractions. It's kind of like when you slow down in the car and you have to turn the music down, very similar thing. I don't know if you do that or not, but. So nice deep breath in, center yourself. And it's here. Okay, I don't know if you've ever been driving, right? Just driving a car and you get to like, you slow down, like it's great on the highway, you're cranked up. And then when you slow down, like you hit the brakes, you gotta turn the music down. That's pretty fun. Never understood why. So let's lift our arm up, right arm up and down and left arm up. I'm leading with my thumb, bring it back behind me and down. We're gonna do each side three times. So that's was, that was once, this is twice, right side up and down as if you're doing a big chop, right? Imagine there's a piece of wood in front of you. You'd like to chop through. We're doing super slow-mo, okay? Up and then karate chop down. So we extend out slightly when we come down, right? We want our elbow to be extended out. Right hand side one more time, up, elbows extended out. If you need some assistance, help yourself by holding under um, this section of your arm, the upper, upper part of your arm and down. I had to take an anatomy class again. I know what it is, I just can never remember the names. All right, let's pump our feet. All right, just we're getting ready to go on a walk. So we're gonna pump our feet, just lifting up, Pressing our toes against the ground. Deep breath in. Inhale and exhale. Very nice, very nice. And start lifting. If you feel a yawn in you, feel free to let it loose. Yawning is good. Helps like open up stuff. It's all good. So we're just gonna lift. If it helps to grab the back of your leg and lift, totally cool. All right? If you wanna get a little bit higher, okay? Or we can just keep walking, all right? So since we are doing some boxing, I was thinking, I don't know if you remember in Rocky when he runs up the stairs there in the uh, art museum in Philadelphia, which is no joke, by the way, it's a lot of stairs. I lived in Philly for a while and I went by there. I was like, oh, I think I should, no, I'm not gonna run up those stairs, that's crazy. So, so many people try it. But we're gonna try and walk up the stairs today, all right? So we're just gonna walk, gonna fly now, that's the song. Up and down. Piece of trivia, Rocky trivia, is that Rocky's brother, Frank, wrote the song I believe that's being played when he runs up the stairs. They're gonna fly now. I believe that was his brother Frank Stallone. Sylvester's brother wrote that song. Yeah. Fun trivia. No extra. That's free of charge that one. All right, up and down. If anybody ever needs a partner on trivia night, I'm pretty good. So, love that stuff. Up and down. Usually it's useless trivia, nothing really worth knowing either. So we're just walking, All right? Up and down, deep breath. All right, time to slow down. Walk a little side to side here, all right. Stop sitting up straight, take a deep breath in. And relax. I'm going to put my foot straight out in front of me. It's going to do a slight bend forward. 
I'm going to try and touch my toes. I don't know if I'll make it there today. I just want to stretch the back of my leg, the back of my knee, right? A little bit of my back. So I'm just going to go out, kick my leg out straight, and bend forward, trying to touch it. Don't need to. My knee is fine. I can have my foot on the ground as well. The more extended your foot is, um, straight up and down, the more kind of stretch you'll get on the back of your knee, if that feels okay. We'll switch sides. And go on this side. And then back up. Go as low or as deep as you can, but don't feel any need to go super low, right? So we're just going to go down and come back up. Extending. I'm going to kick my foot straight out. I don't have socks or shoes on today. I don't want you to see my ugly feet. So I'm just going to circle around like this. Circle around with my ankle again. If you've had any um, any knee or ankle issues, just be gentle. It's just good to get these unlocked because they get locked from when we sleep. We're not moving, and they get locked into place. So sometimes that can throw off our balance a little bit. It's no fun. Yeah. All right, so let's come back to the center. Move our legs a little bit more. Run if you'd like, just run in place. Tap, 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 tap. Right, you can start swinging your arms a little bit up and down. Nice up and down. All right. Nice. And come back up. Hey, everybody. All right. So I'm going to lift both arms up. Deep breath in. Lean back slightly. Chin up. And I'm just going to go fold forward. My back is as straight as I can make it. Okay. Flat back as we go forward. As you get closer to the ground, start curving the back so we can touch the floor. Keeping our hand, I mean, our head up, chin up, nose up, eyes up. All right, hang here for a second, deep breath in, come back up to a flat back and back up. Deep breath in one more time. We're going to raise our arms up. Now, what I did. Notice we start with arms raised and we drop down. When we come back up, we just leave our arms down. We're just bringing our body back up, not all our arms and stuff. They kind of stay loose. So you're going to come down, chin up, nose up, deep breath in, flatten the back, and come back up straight. What this does is it, is it just changes the balance and has our work our core a little bit more when we do this. One more time. Hands up. And down forward. <sighs> Exhale as we release, come down, push that air out. Inhale, exhale again. Nice and slow. Come down. Go a little bit deeper this time. Leave the arms where they're at. Let them dangle. Deep breath in, coming back up, exhale. Back to the center. Bring your left arm up, over to your right leg. Put it, place it on the right knee for a spinal twist. Looking over our right shoulder. Right arm is loose. Nose, eyes, mouth, pointing in the direction. Um, over our right shoulder, releasing slowly, coming back to the center, not lifting back up. So we get to the center and bring our right arm up, lean back slightly, bringing it over, very similar to what we just did, where it comes over to our left knee. 
slight, slight twist and turn. Deep breath in and exhale, release. We'll do this two more times on each side. So left arm comes up, lean back slightly, over to our right knee, arm hits, twist and turn. Deep breath in and exhale. And release slowly. Right arm up. Lean back slightly over to our left knee. Looking over our left shoulder. And releasing back to the center. One more time, left arm up, lean back slightly over to the right. So this will get our mid back starting to enter into our lower back. Just a nice twist, nothing too crazy. Inhale, exhale, and release. One more time on the right, up, over to the left. Nice and slow, very gentle. Deep breath in. Try to focus on your legs as well, that, that our legs are not kind of buckling in. We want to make sure that we're nice and, and kind of firm, right? So we're pushing out slightly with our, with our left and right knee as we do this. What we try not to do is, is have them, again, have them buckle. So just have them push out, which helps. And we're going to release, come back. Both arms up. As if we're reaching for a spear on the left and pulling or a rope and pulling it over to the right with a slight lean in and lower twist. There we go. And release. Same thing, but on the right hand side, we're going to reach with the right and reach with the left as if we're pulling uh, a spear or a rope, whatever. And we're going to just pull it as if we're pulling it over our shoulder. Bring it down toward left. Okay. We're, we'll also do some canoeing today, but this is a little bit bigger move than a canoe. All right. We're going to spear, grab that spear, pull it, and put it into the ground over on the right. So we're going from the left to the right. Deep breath in, come back up. We're going to go to the right. Up top on the right. Grab and pull, and pull and bring to the left. One more time, left side. Pulling from the left over to the right. <laughs> Inhale from the right, up high, high as you can. Reach, reach, reach. And then pull and push into the earth and release. Deep breath in, come back to the center. All right. Now we're going to do one more thing uh, three times. We're going to bring our right arm up, and we're not twisting this time. We're going to bend. So we're just going to bend to the left. Relax your left-hand side. Try to bend without, without folding. Right? So we want to be in the center. It's not as big of a move as it might seem. Right? If you're super flexible, that's awesome. I'm not that flexible when it comes to this. So we're just going to bring this up and slightly bend right, to, the, to the right. All we're trying to do, um, we don't want to pinch too much. You can go a little bit deeper if you want. I try to brace with my opposite hand. So I can get a full extension of my ribs on my left hand side and bring it back down. Same thing on the right. Let's do it again. What I'm not doing is like folding over like super floppy, right? We want to avoid that. And do what feels right to you. What looks right for me might not feel right for you. So do what feels good for you as well. So we're going to do this two more times on each side. 
again, all we're trying to do or what we'd like to accomplish in this moment is releasing some uh, stress from the ribs and back. One more time on each side, left up. And if you want to add a little turn in there, that's fine. It's totally okay. Just make sure we're nice and balanced. And everybody is has is different in a way. Thankfully, everybody can do some stretching and some like that, but everybody is different. How you feel today, it's not the same body we were in yesterday, is what I'm is, is not just that there's differences between your body and my body, but my body yesterday was different than my body is today, especially at this time. So uh, just being gentle with ourselves uh, is extremely important. Um, all right, let's do some canoeing. So what we're going to do is we're going to reach out, have like we're we're pushing against the wall, but we're going to grab a canoe from our right hand side and bring it over to the left, and we're going to switch and have our left on top and our right on bottom, and we're going canoe, kayak, rowboat. Well, it's not really a rowboat. You can kayak like this too. Rowboat's a little bit different. We're just going to swing. It's almost like a uh, slow motion, like infinity symbol, if that makes sense. So we're just going to grab very similar to what we did when we were grabbing a spear. So this is in front of us, not behind us. That's the main difference. We're going to do this a few times. I hope wherever you're at, life is good for you. If you're joining us on the YouTubes, please make sure you join us live on Thursdays at 10.45. A little bit different experience. All right, one more, a couple more times. I'm sorry. All right, relax. Very good. Very nice. Let's take a quick break. Deep breath in. So yeah, you can join us um, Thursdays um, uh, on Zoom if you'd like to join us live. It's a lot of fun. Um, but uh, certainly appreciate anyone who's joining on the YouTube. And for everyone who's here live, thank you for coming back uh, and joining us again. Um, yeah, we like to have a good time. So I'm just going to sway back and forth. All right, just a little bit back and forth. I don't know if you've tried the Tai Chi class. I've, I have not yet, but I understand it's very fun, uh, very relaxing. I believe that's on Friday. Um, and Tai Chi is a little bit different um, than yoga, for sure, than what I, you know, we're doing here. Um, and we offer a variety of other classes too. So if you can join any of the other ones, if you have time to do that, or if you can't, but you have friends who are interested, please make sure you share that stuff with them. Um, we're here to do this to help you, to help um, not just you guys, but ourselves. This really helps me as well. And I really enjoy doing it. We do a little speed bag work, right? So we're just gonna start going around with our hands. If one elbow is not working, just use the other one as best you can. Just keep it moving. If you have arthritis or some other sort of thing, just go slow, do the best you can. If you need to stay down a little bit more, that's fine, right? My goal is to get kind of shoulders even with uh, shoulders even and in front and punching up. So my right's going first, followed by my left, and we're going forward. I guess it doesn't matter if I started with my left, right? And if you want to count, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the pace I'm going. Not super fast, so it's kind of a slow zone speed bag right now. We can start speeding up. 
And as we speed up, we modify, right? We don't have to stay where we're at. We might modify. We don't want to put too much pressure on the shoulders. Let's go a little bit faster, deeper. Now reverse. So now we're going to do backwards, right? So that our hands and arms are coming towards us, nice and slow. And then, yeah, stretch out what you need to stretch out. If you need to bring your arms down, just keep your arm, just keep them moving in circles, right? As we move, come to the side, maybe do a little washing machine motion back and forth, right? Whatever that looks like for you, right? Just swinging our arms. I like speed bag because it gives me something to focus on, but it doesn't have to be a speed bag, right? And I'm just going to turn over to one side to the left, do a little twist there. And over to the right, do a little twist there, backwards and forwards. So we're rolling this way and then we're going backwards. All right, up and around. Whatever feels good to you, you just want to make some circles. Right? It's a lot of energy in circles. So the slower we go, if you do Tai Chi, it's like butterfly wings opening up. A lot of circles. I haven't taken Tai Chi for a while, but it was one of my favorite. Favorite classes, a lot of circles and figure eights, right? One hand at a time, just painting the sky, and right? just painting a big figure eight. Like you got a sparkler in front of you, it's 4th of July or any time of year in Florida, <laughs> really. We're just making big circles. If you're a fan of uh, Dr. Strange, Marvel, Marvel guy, he makes big circles, right? creating little portals back and forth. It's fun to do. Right? This just helps with the shoulders. We'll work on that today. If you want to add in, you can move your feet at the same time. So if you want to add in some wild, wild motions as we move our feet. All right. And cool, we made it to the car. I'm going to put our seatbelt on. So I'm reaching over with my left arm over my right shoulder, kind of like the spear that we did earlier, except this time it's just my left. I'm going to pull it over uh, from the right hand side shoulder area to my left hand side hip. And I'm going to double in. I want to be double safe today. So I'm going to grab the one on my left shoulder and bring it down to my right. Right, same thing, two more times on each side, just grabbing and pulling, grabbing, looking this time, a little extra and pulling, grabbing, turning and looking, pulling from the right to the left. One more time, looking over my left shoulder, grabbing and pulling to my right. Deep breath in, let's relax, we're in the car now. All right, don't need to run anywhere. Right. And we're just going to slowly just sit, swish back and forth. Ooh, speed bump. Very nice. That's nice. Very good. So just relax for a second. All right, let's get a quick drink of water. All right, we've had a lot of motion, create a lot of energy with those circles. So let's bring it back, kind of. Calm us down a little bit before we get into some serious stuff. All right, feel free while we're doing this. If you want to keep moving your legs, some people don't like sitting still, and I get that. So we're just going to move our legs. We're doing that. All right. Let's see. So we've canoed a little bit. We did a lot of pre pre warm up, pre game warm up. Now we're gonna um, step into the ring here. Let's do a little, just simple boxing, nothing crazy, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some just gentle punches. We have four different kinds. We're gonna do uh, um, to the face, to the body, uh, uppercut uppercut, haymaker, haymaker. You can start on the right or the left, it does not matter, right? 
So we're going to go, we're going to start slow. We're in round one. We have to remember to put our defenses up. So we're going to keep, I'm going to look like Popeye, right? And my arms way out here. Like I'm, like I'm not really like, come on, put them on, that sort of stuff. Like not really serious, but, um, and just start defending side to side. Punches are coming in. We're just kind of the circles we just did. Same thing, but just very gentle. And we're going to throw a punch to the center, to the face, to the nose, to the nose. Nice and simple. You don't want to keep too big of, too, too strong of a fist until you hit your target. If we hold super strong here, it's tougher for us to get out and we use a lot more energy than we need. So it's gonna slow to the face. Now an uppercut on either side, uppercuts. Nice and slow. As if we're watching a rematch or a re replay, I should say. All right. So this is like the replay of the match that we already won, just in super slow. Uh, what do we do? Oh, body blow. Got to do a body blow. And you can add your own commentary. Feel free, like you're doing the color commentary or play by play. Body blow, body blow, body blow. It's a video game, play by play. So haymaker, over the top. So what we're doing with this, we're just bringing our fist over and down. Over and down, coming over the top. Bop, right on top. Boop, kitty boops. You know how kitties do boops? Kitty boops. Boom, over on the top. Hulk smash, boom, boom, to the face. Our back is straight, right? We're not, we're not bent over, so our back is straight. And we're just turning as we go. Now some body blows. And uppercuts. Uppercuts come straight through the middle. Body blows stay on the outside, like near the knee. Uppercuts, uppercut, haymaker, haymaker. Haymaker is almost like the same as an uppercut, except it's a haymaker. I don't know <laughs> how how a machine. I don't know if you've ever seen a machine make hay, but it has this kind of like curve over haymaker, over the top. So what this is doing physically is it's kind of separating each side of our spine and helping it come together, right? This is why we don't do it at once. We want one strength on one side. So we do some uppercuts. Breathing as we do it, nothing too crazy. We can go a little faster. As we get to the face again, just a little bit faster. A little more rhythmic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch to whatever you'd like. Just incorporate all four. Four, five, six. Body blow for me. Three, four, five, six, back to uppercuts. Four, five, six to the face. One, two, three, four, five, six. Haymaker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't mean harder. Just means faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, round over. We just stop. If you hit extra, you might get a penalty point. It's okay. It's okay if you did. Let them have it. Let them have it. Here we go. Round two, they're going to come out strong. So we got to get ready. Okay. It's going to be a little bit different. That was a slow start. It's heavyweight fight. Got to go 12 rounds. We're not going 12 rounds. We're going to go three rounds because we're going to beat them in three rounds. I bet. Something tells me we're going to beat them in three rounds. Here we go. All right. But a little bit faster pace this time. Block, block, to the side, to the side. It's almost like a dance, right? Like if you want to make it more of a dance, make it more of a dance. If that feels good to you. Right. And then to the face, to the face, block, to the face, to the face, block, to the face, to the face, block. To the face, to the face, block. Body blow, body blow, body blow, body blow, body blow, body blow, block, block, block. Body blow, body blow, body blow, body blow. Haymaker, haymaker, block, block. Just up and down, right? Up and down blocks to the face. You block that one, boom, to the face. Boom, boom. So you think I'm like, I've never really been in a fight in my whole life. Like, not a fist fight. So, like, <laughs> this is not a self defense course, right? Just to be clear, just for imagery. Honestly, when I do this, I think I, there's a video game called Knockout, I think, or Mike Tyson's Knockout or something like that. And that's kind of where I'm where I got this because they do extreme punching and stuff. So, we're going to block, and block, and block, and block. Punch and punch and punch and punch and punch and block and block and punch and punch and punch. Now, let's take our punches a little bit more seriously, right? Let's have an end point where they go. So it's not just willy nilly into the, into the wind, right? So we're going to stop at the end, like have an end point where we hit. So instead of just kind of willy nilly like we've been doing, we want to like, really quick get out there right here we go this second half of round two here we go punch quick punch quick yeah and bring it back right the other ones we're bringing kind of lackadaisical with which is totally cool got them off we're rope a dope right just now a quick punch to the side to the side to the side to the side uppercut 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 face 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 block Block, block, block. We do the slow to get the target. We do the fast now that we know where the target is. Yeah, very good. All right. Shake it out. Rounds over. Rounds over. Now I feel that we need to move. We need to bounce a little bit more. We got a few minutes left. I think we need to bounce, get on our feet. Not on our feet, but like be more in our bodies, not just punching. So we can do a little dancing around with our legs, right? So it's gonna dance around, do the best you can. You can go side to side like this. Just let's use our whole body, right? So that's what, uh, that's what our man person in the corner said. Gotta move around a little bit more, show them that we can float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Right. And by a B, I mean the thing that flies around. All right. Here we go. Let's get back into it. Ding, ding. Bell rings. We're going to move around. Right. Punch, punch, punch. You don't have to punch as much. We're, we're moving around a little bit more. So make them more, make the punches count. And this is on your time. Right. Don't follow what I'm doing. Right. Punch, punch, punch. Right. Go for a couple knockouts over the top, over the top. Can't chase me. Oh, I ducked that one. I moved to the side, moved to the side, moved to the side, moved to the side and punch. Right? Move to the side, punch. Move to the side, punch. Didn't see that coming. Boom. Oh, I grabbed a broom handle. Bam. No, this isn't wrestling. Can't do that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Here we go. Boom. To the face. Boom. Two ones. Right, here we go. So we're just moving nice and gentle, dancing with our feet. Right, dancing. Right. 
slowing down. I'm gonna start slowing down. I think we got him. We got him in the corner now. A couple body blows. I'll take him down. We're doing slow motion with him. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Haymaker, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Raise our arms. Yay, we won. Yay, we won. We're champ. Holding up our championship belt. All right, kicking out our feet. Holding up our championship belt. Let's show everyone. Holding up her belt, turning, turning, turning. Thank you, the audience. Little bow. All right, arms are up. Nice deep breath. Slowing down, slowing down. Bring your arms down nice and slow. Nice and slow. I know we do some crazy stuff. We have a good time. Hopefully, you're having a good time. All right. All right, now let's get, we relax a little bit. Right, that was a tough one, that was a tough one. Nice deep breath in, relax. Sit back in your chair for a sec. Let your legs kick out. Whew. Deep breath in, exhale, nice and deep. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it back. Bring it back. It's gonna slow down and get centered. Right? Get back into our bodies. Feel our feel our heart. Put our hands on our heart. Let's feel that for a second. It's always nice. Just remember we got that going for us today. Heart's beating. Brain's working pretty good, pretty decent. Gotta make sure that we're follow, you know whatever we need to do for ourselves, right? Yeah, whatever we need to do for ourselves, that's important, taking that time. We do a lot for others, so we have to make sure that we take time for ourselves, putting your hand on our heart to remind us um, just of what's important. And to listen to listen to what uh, you know the good voices, <laughs> the ones that say don't eat the chocolate cake right now, right? Those are the voices we need. Have a glass of water. Yeah, I listen to that. That I listen to. Right? Making good choices. Vanilla cakes, okay. Chocolate cakes, off. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever it is, whatever you feel is, is good for you um, is important. Just slow down, listen, be able to listen to that inside. Even when some guy on the other end you've never met is talking to you, being able to hear your own voice. As long as it's nice. <laughs> right. And just hands back on our knees. Who you've met virtually, so it's always good to see you guys. Let's do some eye rolling for all my bad jokes. Like if you were to eye roll my bad jokes, let's do that, which is totally okay. And so we're gonna start at the center, lift our eyeballs up and over to the left side, down to the right, back up, back to the center. Same thing, except this time we're gonna to go to the right, down, left, up, to the right, back to the center. Now we're gonna start down to the left, up, right, down, to the center. Now we're gonna go left, down, right, up, left, to the center. You didn't get all that, that's okay. As long as your eyeballs were closed and moving. That's what we're looking for. Just something that they can move without having um, to interact with the outside world, right? Some people like to do this exercise and cover their eyes. So if that works for you where it's more dark, because right now there's a lot, there might be a lot of light. 
you want to cover your eyes, this is actually can be a little bit more relaxing. Right? If you're seeing brightness, let it dissipate anything in your eye. Don't press your eye, right? Just cup it, put it over. Deep breath in. It's a little bit different when we don't have any stimulus in the eye and we're moving the eye. Okay. So just move it around. You can do some figure eights, just nice and slow. We just want to bring some attention and intention, not just attention, but intention to our eyes. Giving them thanks, appreciation, up and down, side to side, nice and slow. Nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Deep breath in. A couple of weeks ago, I don't know if you recall, I had a pretty nasty eye injury. My right eye has gotten much better. Um, but this helped doing things like this, doing these eye exercises, um, at least covering my eyes so I didn't have light information coming in. It's extremely helpful. And we can release, bring it down, and deep breath in and relax. And if you guys have any suggestions or uh, thoughts on what you'd like to see as far as our class, uh, please email me. It's Chris, it's my name, Chris at msfocus.org. So that's, and, and Kamani, if you wouldn't mind putting that in the chat, C-H-R-I-S at msfocus.org. Um, and this is where, if you want to do, if you have a move you want to do, if there's something that you want to incorporate, like screen door, <laughs> right? Things in your everyday life that you might that might be helpful. Screen door, glass door, heavy, heavy. If you want to do some drumming, whatever it is, let me know. We can incorporate it in. Um, everybody seems to enjoy the the boxing a little bit. We had it. We've had a good time with that. So. Uh, we can continue with that. But if there are other things, we can do any number of other things um, and happy to accommodate. All right, let's just finish up. Um, and thank you guys for being here. We're going to keep our eyes closed for a minute. Just relax. A little bit of silence. If you're on YouTube, we are not hitting pause. We're just going to relax for like 30 seconds with no sound. Deep breaths in and out. We gently come back. It's going to move side to side, slightly rotating around. If there's any final movements, wing flaps, those are always fun. Kind of coming out after being in our little shell for 30 seconds. Okay, our little, it's not the time for butterflies, right? But we can certainly um, allow ourselves the grace to flap and open our wings and just kind of come out of our chrysalis. Is that the right word? I think it is. Couldn't spell it, but I believe that's what it's called. And just shake it out. Deep breath in. And the only real reason I even know the name chrysalis is because it used to be a record company back in the 80s. Again, useless trivia you didn't need to know. But yes, Huey Lewis in the news happened to be on that record label. Again, useless trivia, but if you ever get that question on a cruise ship or a 
Trivia Night. There you go. And if you ever need to phone a friend for something like that, let me know too. I'm pretty good at that stuff. And always have a Google for you as well. All right, let's take another deep breath in. I hope you're okay with it, with my eyes closed. Um, uh, when we do this, as opposed to having them open, I find it a little bit more easy to pull in information that way. Weird, maybe, I know, but kind of helps. So we're just going to sit for one more minute or less, finish up. I hope everyone has a, um, has a great weekend. We're getting into a new season. Um, a uh, different sort of season, uh, jackets and the, and, and the like. So um, hope everyone has, has had a great summer and uh, getting into that sort of uh, busy, busy time. But let's um, let's keep making time for this Thursday at 1045. Um, and hopefully everything will settle down. We have a good time. <laughs>